continue with our discussions with or, uh, business or organizational change. So we're reacting to change. How does the employees or your colleagues react to change? So we discussed it a while ago. So as a recap, number one, there's happiness, of course, kasi bag- bago na naman yung manager. Okay, bago yung makakasama yung, ano, yung leader nyo. Resistance. Resistance will come if there is what we call a, a uh, doubt from the new administrations. So mag-resist yan. Mag-resist, mag-resist sila. Or mayroong ipapatupad na bagong changes na hindi naman comfortable sa mga old employees. So there's really resistance that will happen. Next, stress, of course, because of the transition period, because of the changes. So, there are a lot of work to be done. Okay, conflict. So, there is a conflict. Maybe the old employees will have a conflict with the new leader. Kung hindi, hindi nila, ano, parang hindi nila type. Then, mayroon yung tawag na uncertainty. Or yung ginatawag na, na nagdadalawang isip. O nagduwa-duwa pa sila sa new administration. Kasi hindi pa nila kilala yung leader. Hindi pa nila kilala yung chief pharmacist. Okay, baka stricto ito, suklada ito. Okay, fear, may kahadlok. Okay, they're afraid. Okay, confusion also. Anger, excitement, and even dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction depende sa uh, performance ng new leader. Changes in moral. <clears throat> uh, it depends upon the leader. Okay, kung maayong leader, taas ang moral. Kung bigaw ang leader, manubo ang moral nila. Productivity in the work. So, sometimes... Employees, if they, uh, they, if they, they will not, if they, uh, if they felt that they are not happy with the new, uh, new leader, so they work, the work is considered to be less productive already, and lack of motivation, or the motivation is getting lower, depends sa leader po yan, or they may will, if the leader motivates them, or the leader is considered to be, a open my dad so and the, and the leader uh, always nang motivate sa kanila baka yung motivation ng mga employee ay tataas naman next transition of process disengaging from the old reality and fully engaging in new reality reality so transition happens in a new administration new leadership so syempre may transition period yan may mga adjustment yan sa ano sa company or inside the working environment. Endings, neutral zone, new beginning. Yung endings mo, okay, so, when the new uh, leader, when the new leader or the new manager enters all the work, okay, after na nag-resign yung uh, yung dating manager, that is already considered to be the ending. Then we have the neutral zone. Uh, that is between the ending and the new beginning. Neutral zone, so that is zone of adjustment. May not follow linear path. So, mayroon tayong tawag na parang curve path yan. Depende. Depende sa mga adjustment ng tao sa bagong leader. Okay? Transition starts with an ending and it ends with a beginning. Okay? Siyempre, ending yung, ano yun, yung starting point mo. Kung ano yung ending ng dating uh, empleyado o dating, sorry, yung dating leader, dating manager, yan rin yung beginning mo. Okay? So, phases of transition. If try to see, ending, we are the neutral zone. So, dito ka sa kabilang uh, side ng river, so you cross. If this is considered to be linear path, okay? Kasi yung neutral zone mo, pwedeng maging zigzag yan. O curve, or curve or curve zone, tawag doon. Then you have your new beginning. Yung new beginning is your ending also. There are a lot of adjustment there. So, mahirap talaga kapag bago yung uh, namumuno. Okay? Lalo na kung stricto. ba? Dati, uh, medyo mabait si ma'am, si sir. Pero, ang bago na naman ngayon. Pero, medyo stricto ito. Medyo stricto yung bagong manager. So, there are a lot of adjustments during transition period. Next, endings, letting go of old ways. So, bago na naman okay kung ano yung mga mga dating gawin nyo huwag nyo nang gawin sa bagong uh, leadership dealing with losses so tingnan mo kung mayroong mga losses may pagkakulang ba yung mga uh, dating administration okay o example sa financial side baka 
nagkakano nagka problema tayo doon. Okay? Next, transition begins with ending. So yung transition, yung beginning mo talaga yung ending ng uh, previous leadership, ng previous manager that is your beginning. If you are new in that institution, example, si new ang yung old chief pharmacist nagresign, pagpasok ni new chief pharmacist, yun ang yun yun ang beginning niya. Okay? And there is what we call transition period. Lot of adjustment if there is a new leader. Okay? Leading through transition, do not overlook endings and neutral zones. You cannot start with final stage of transition. Yes. Do not overlook endings. Okay? That is your beginning. People will experience feelings that come transition even process is overlooked. Success change requires people emotionally to the place where they engage in a new reality. So, let the people accept kaya tanggapin nyo na ang bagong leader ang bagong manager kasi kung hindi nyo matanggap yan you cannot move on okay? kasi kung reklamo ko nagreklamo niyan sa bagong leader dyan wala ka rin mapapala you cannot move on and it will affect the entire company so as a leader you have to uh, stand on your ground okay